My name is the Guru Axel. And I'm on the YouTube. Okay, let me just stop it there. Let's just have a look what it said the first time he showed his intro. Pissing of the creationist since the 1980s. See, that's not too much of a mistake. That's, that's understandable, I suppose. But now look what he's put. Pissing off, he's got that one right at least. Creation sit, crashianists, fence the. Like, can this guy not go one sentence without typing like a fucking monkey? I mean, look at all his other comments. Something's wrong with him. Okay, I want to try and go ahead and dissolve the animosity you may have for me. The animosity I may have for you is based on the fact that you tried to pwn me in a video where you displayed absolutely zero knowledge of the topic at hand. You ridiculed me because of my age and had to mention that I was a teenager. You displayed absolute zero knowledge of anarchism. Uh, and despite my objections, which I think were justified, you referred to me as a fucking moron, etc. Uh, you read out my comments like I was some whiny little bitch, and then read out your comments like you were really, really smart and being really reasonable. And then in your sidebar or description bar, you said, don't say I didn't warn him. Yeah, that's the animosity, mate. You've made an arse of yourself. Now, I will concede that my knowledge of the hundreds of philosophies spring forth through anarchy is limited. No, it's not that you don't understand all of the hundreds of anarchist philosophies, and there haven't been that many. It's that you haven't displayed an understanding of any of them, okay? Not one. You made a passing reference in the comment section to some bullshit about punk rockers who call themselves anarchists, which is total bollocks, and I hate those people just as much as you do. But, uh, yeah, and you also then started saying that that's not real anarchism. You conflated anarchism with with just lawlessness. Uh, you, you don't know anything about anarchism, but thank you for at least admitting that your knowledge is lacking. However, the point I was trying to make is that it is in fact an oxymoron if we take the original definition before the book as well as the original definition be after these books came out. Didn't really change much. I don't know what you meant by the book or these books. Uh, I'm going to assume that when you said the book, you meant the dictionary, as if, they, it's as if to say there's only one. And by the books, you mean anarchists like Proudhon and Bakunin, who wrote these books. That's, that's what I'm going to assume. The definition hasn't really changed that much because it comes from Latin, which is without archons, okay? Monarch is one archon. Anarchy is without archons, just like a theism is without theism, okay? But the anarchists would hold that there's a difference between laws and government, and don't get government confused with the state, there is a difference between that and having rulers, having hierarchy, okay? That's why the definitions are still similar somewhat. You see, the people in these books are the ones that changed the definition. Well, like I said, they didn't really change the definitions of the words at all, because it's to do with having a lack of rulers. Um, but again, even if they did, who gives a shit? Meanings of words change all the time. I mean, look at Scientology, okay? It's a bullshit, wacko religious belief, but it's called Scientology, which makes it seem like it's got something to do with science when it really, really doesn't. Um, and because it's a political, or, you know, an ideology, you call it that, you give yourself that label. So even if anarchy had nothing, even if anarchy meant like hot dog, and these people call themselves anarchists, you'd still call them anarchists because that's what they call their ideology. So what's the problem here? And really what you're talking about here is anarchist socialism, which is socialism. Well, again, what's the problem there? <sighs> Got to bring the books out again. Proudhon, Bakunin, these people called themselves anarchists. And they were in the first international along with Karl Marx. The very first socialists were among the very first anarchists. And vice versa. It's a socialist party. No, it has nothing to do with party politics. Um, but again, yes, it's, it's a type of socialism. That The ideas that Proudhon and Bakunin in particular brought up could be classed as forms of socialism, and they would admit that. Um, and they were types of anarchism, because there are more than one type of anarchism. In fact, the Oxford Companion to Philosophy, and I don't know how much you love dictionaries and definitions, so here's a definition here. There is no single defining position that all anarchists hold, and those considered anarchists, at best, share a certain family resemblance. So there we go, it's really nothing more than a, an, an idea of resisting authority and 
rulers and stuff like that. So no, there's no absolute definition. But yes, what I what I brought up, those people who I brought up here, whose philosophies I don't follow to the letter anyway, uh, yes, what they do talk about could be branded um, as a form of socialism, as could what I'm bringing up. Although what I'm bringing up really is closer to what you could call anarchism without adjectives, but you have no idea what I just said because you have no fucking clue about anarchism whatsoever because you're a dick. I know, you want to call it anarchy all you want, but it's still an oxymoron, and that's what I think is funny. Well, like I've pointed out, there is no oxymoron here, well, except for you, but that's a different kind of moron. Uh, now you're going all on the defensive and you're trying to act all friendly now that you've been called on how clueless you are. That's what I think is kind of funny. Hey, this is Axel thanking you for watching my bit. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, every time you rate one of our videos, we throw another one of the Justin Bieber fans into the Viper Pit. Uh, current events. Who the fuck is Justin Bieber? And I hope you live a long and happy, successful life with a beautiful wife and many lovely children. Well, I'd like to say the same thing about you, but since my first response to you has earned you some, well, let's say pretty negative feedback from bigger users like Leighton Way and Sarahan06 and uh, Black Acid Lizard, it's probably started to dawn on you now that your chances of living out your dream of making it as a big YouTube atheist like the amazing atheist and Pat Condell and gaining all of the thousands of subscribers that you will evidently suck dick for are starting to look pretty fucking slim for you right now. Now fuck off and stop wasting everyone's time, you backpedaling, groveling. Oh,